Apple TV Plus S Before Episode 3 continues exploring the relationship between Noah and Eli, revealing many interesting details that push the story forward. The psychological thriller Before releases weekly on Apple TV Plus, following a semi-retired child psychologist named Eli who reluctantly takes on a troubled young boy named Noah as a client. While previous social workers and psychologists thought him to be incorrigible, defiant, and aggressive. However, Eli takes the time to observe and understand the young child in a way few others do, allowing Noah to open up. Though before gave Billy Crystal his worst Rotten Tomatoes score in over a decade, the thriller has a lot of exciting elements to offer. The story has a slow burn pacing, but that doesn't make the mystery any less compelling. Before's main characters are easy to emotionally invest in because of the actor's fantastic performances. Each episode also offers new reveals that continue to build on one another, providing a clearer picture of Noah and Eli's connection and background. Noah nearly drowns after remembering his oldest memory. The nurse unexpectedly finds water in Noah's lungs. Noah looks upset and terrified in Apple TV Plus S before. In before episodes 1 and 2, Noah experiences terrifying visions of water seeping down the walls and slowly approaching him. The third episode expands upon this experience. Rather than seeing dark water, Noah starts seeing visions of frozen water after Eli gets him to visualize his oldest memory. It starts on the window, expands to the ceiling, and even freezes the glass of water. The ice is crackling rather than being frozen solid. Noah's lips turn blue, and his breath becomes visible. Rather than being a one-off vision, he continues to hallucinate the frozen water. The horrifying moment where before blurs the line between real and supernatural is when nurses find Noah with water in his lungs, nearly drowning. The only water in the area was the small glass that froze earlier in the episode. Unfortunately, because they don't believe anything paranormal is occurring, they place Noah on suicide watch, thinking he's trying to end his life. Before never shows this happening on screen, making it seem like something different has happened. Future episodes will need to clarify what actually happened while the nurse was gone and how water got into Noah's lungs. Eli and Noah begin experiencing transference and countertransference. Eli and Noah's therapeutic relationship could negatively impact the child's treatment. After the incident where Noah tells Eli, you know what you did, the child psychologist starts to realize that Noah is experiencing transference, a psychological concept where a client projects their feelings about someone in their life onto their mental health professional. The young boy blames Eli for the bad things that happened in the past, transferring his anger onto the therapist. At least, that's the way the situation seems if everything occurring is psychological and has no supernatural element. However, there's also a possibility that he's experiencing a paranormal element that Eli just isn't aware of yet. However, the projection isn't one-sided. Eli starts experiencing countertransference, or a mental health provider emotionally identifying with a client and their experiences. Eli has a more profound connection with Noah because of the loss of his wife. Transference and countertransference can be used as tools in therapy. While it's not the first step, the ethical choice is to refer the client to a new mental health provider when transference and countertransference reach such a high level that it prevents the client from progressing in therapy. Despite his own therapist pointing this out, Eli ignores his ethical duty in this situation. Eli visits Barbara and Sophie's house for dinner. Eli follows through on his promise to have dinner with his family. Eli stands behind Sophie while Barbara holds her hands in Apple TV Plus S before. Following up on his promise during episode 2 of Apple TV Plus S before, Eli goes over to Barbara's house for dinner. The scene is relatively mundane to start with. However, he soon begins avoiding the topic of his deceased wife, Lynn. Barbara brings up the fact that the realtor reached out to her to sell his and Lynn's house, but he doesn't seem open to the idea despite his previous comments on the matter. The entire interaction between the family members in Before Episode 3 shows just how dysfunctional they have become since the tragic incident in addition to further solidifying the family dynamic, the dinner with Eli, Barbara, and Sophie helps push forward the storyline for Eli and Noah. When coming over, Eli brought the client file for Noah with all his notes and Noah's drawings. After dropping the file, Sophie sees the dark drawing made by Noah when Eli asked him to draw his oldest memory though Eli initially thought the picture was Noah hurting another child, Sophie sees a detail that others missed. She tells Eli that the individual is killing the bad thing around the boy's neck. Looking at it closer, the child therapist sees a tentacle around the victim's neck, which mirrors the pencil incident with Noah and his classmate. Eli runs out of the house, leaving for the hospital, upon realizing that someone or something hurt his client. 
Eli writes down a preliminary diagnosis of dissociative identity disorder. Eli maps out parts of Noah's psychological profile. Eli holds his handwritten notes about his client Noah in Apple TV Plus S before. As Noah's mental health professional, Eli needs to figure out what exactly is occurring psychologically for his young client so that he can provide effective treatment. However, Eli's symptoms don't fit exclusively into one box regarding diagnoses. When trying to map out Noah's psychological profile, he jots down these words and phrases.